Hi, I'm Zayna Juliet. It's Zayna, Juliet, and Friends. Stay tuned for great conversation and music each week. On today's show, Zayna speaks with comedian impressionist Tom Waller and Sharon S. And now, here's Zayna. Welcome to my show, Zayna, Juliet, and Friends. I'm Zayna, Juliet, and today we have two wonderful guests, Sharon S., young entrepreneur, classical pianist, and a super, super wonderful guest, Tom Wallach, actor, comedian, impressionist, and singer. So stay tuned, we'll be right back after this video. Zena, Zena. Zayna Juliet, and you're watching Zayna Juliet and Friends. Zayna, here. Zayna, here. Zayna. Prepare to be moved. My first guest is Sharon S. Now Sharon is a beautiful classical pianist and also a young entrepreneur. She has a wonderful skin line, beauty care, beauty products out, and we're gonna talk about that. Well Sharon, welcome to the show, sweetie. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? I must say that you are girl power. Thank you. And I have a show and I always uh, dedicate everything to empowerment of women and girl power and I'm going to occasionally have a story on a female that's doing great things that will inspire you and Sharon is that female. Thank you. <laughs> Sharon, I want to know how did you start in the music business and playing such beautiful classical piano? How long have you been playing? It's almost like 20 years. Yeah, more 20 years. That's and how did you start? Did you train? Cause my mommy, yeah, because of my mommy. Because my mommy is piano player. So that's why I just do. Uh, I need, I have to. Yeah. I don't have a choice. Wow. So she likes say, you have to do training. Yeah. Make you start from a child. Yeah, it's from two years old. Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. And so you go from this super wonderful pianist, which you guys are <laughs> going to see on the clip, yeah. to an entrepreneur and have your own skincare mm -hmm. and beauty line and now opening your own store. Yeah, I opened just in my store. Because you know, a lot, a lot of Americans, they like uh, skincare, they like facial, but too expensive. So that's why I just built my store. I just wanted to build good, perfect money, 
and the perfect quality is that one. Well, I see also your products are organic. Yes. And wonderful. And ladies, yes. I got to tell you, it's really, really good stuff. I, I tried it yes. and it's cleared my skin up tremendously. And it's one of Hollywood's secrets now. A lot of the girls are <laughs> yes. um, starting to use your product. Yeah, exactly. Because, yeah. you know, the girls are always like natural. Yes. So that's why I said um, my store's old products must be natural and must be organic. That will be good for everybody's skin. So we're going to go to a video. And when we come back, we will bring out some of your beauty products and some of your models before and after. So we'll be right back after these videos. Thank you. And we're back with my friend Sharon S. And now we have two beautiful ladies. Um, Sharon will introduce us to these beautiful ladies. Okay, so I just introduced my two sisters. One is Kitty, is Hi. my best friend, and one is my sister, Selena. Hi. Very nice. Now you have your products here, mm -hmm. and why don't you explain to the ladies about your products and um, you know, give us some information on how we use it and all that stuff. Yes, because you know, I mean, why today I just bring these products? Because this product is really perfect. And it's perfect money and perfect quality. You know, so everybody is always, the girls always, every week have the fa facial, right? So we have the four, just the $39. Oh, that's like a full facial, a full yes. facial. Oh, that's outstanding. They have the deep cleanser, cleanser, and the uh, peel off the mask, and yes. the is like a, a peeling gel. Yes, these four is the basic. Please, everyone have it. Nice. nice. Yeah, this is really cool. Yes, and they can also get these facials when they're coming to your shop, right? Yeah, to exactly. the store. We can just show you what is going on about this nice. one. And what is this one here? Oh, this one. Here. I think I will introduce my bestie friend. She can introduce for this one. This is AC Care. Could she always use this one? Okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay, this is the AC Care. Uh, miss, uh, for the end skin, like pimple skin. Acne. Like, yeah. Pimple. Okay. Usually, usually, like I got a very, very much pimples on the face, but right, right. now, like. I, I use this product is around like two months. Yeah, right now it's getting better than better. So it actually clears your skin and it, oh wow, see a lot of ladies. Leave. Yeah, because it, this is the one set. So they have the toner, serum yes. and like At, lotion. Oh, well see that's an excellent product for teens. Yes, also because exactly. they have a lot of acne and everything. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's amazing. That's this really is nice. really good. Wow, and I, I can I must say it works very well. You really should try it, and um, I will have information on the screen where you can know more about the product and where you can get it. Yeah. And it's absolutely wonderful, Sharon. I'm just amazed at all that you do. Music, um, this company, and you bring in another company to the United States as well. Yes, because you know the girls, yeah. they always have their job first. They yes. need to take care of themselves. They need to love themselves first. Right. So that's why I do all the things is protect me because yes. I'm a girl. I have to tell you that Sharon uh, explained to them she's had training in business um, and marketing. Yes. And you want to explain a little bit about that? Because <laughs> I just finished my MBA. Yeah. Oh, OK. Right. Yeah. So that's why I think uh, what the marketing right now, the uh, old American needed. 
so that's why I just opened my store. Because this one is really for good for everyone. Yes. Yeah, because it's cheaper yes. and organic. Then the perfect because the face is really good. Nice. So look, wow. This is my sister face. Yeah. Oh, I know it's it's it's, it's glowing. It's oh yeah, my, it's beautiful. You can can you guess her age? No, I can't. Um, yeah, it's really young. But I can tell you, it's twenty-five. No. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she's really young. Could she use this one? Look, it's no wrinkle. And no wrinkles, and it's like her skin is very smooth. If you can see it up close, yes. and it's like, ooh, and it's it, very nice. So yes. I'm gonna have to get that one. Yeah, you don't yeah, need to like spend that. a lot of money. Yeah, you can get these old products. Yes, because when you go to the salon, it's hundreds of dollars. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And the our store right now is the top popular yes. is Wood Ever Mask. Nice. Yeah, it's really cool. You can, can try. You can to confuse what is the what I will mask. You can come here to try. This is really good. Nice. Oh, so the whole the name of the whole product is Yes. What is it? Wow? Is it wow? Wow well, Beauty Experience. Wow Beauty Experience. Yes. Awesome. Sharon, thank you so much. You are an inspirational and you just inspired me, of course. And um, Thank you for being on the show, and I'm gonna have you back again, and we're gonna to continue to follow you with these products. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Way back then, them developer fellas thought that the water-rich Las Vegas Valley make a great destination for a town and a depot. And lo and behold, they was right. Because by 1930, the population is here town skyrocketed to 5,155. to you a phenomenal entertainer actor comedian singer but most of all spectacular impressionist my guest today is Tom Wallach Tom Wallach has done many many wonderful shows and and entertain lots of audience all over the United States and abroad he has done some of the biggest shows in Las Vegas and he's here with me today you must see him, experience him, and you're going to love him. Live, my guest, Tom Wallach. Tom, welcome to the show. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank Lena, you. I'm glad you a asked me to be on your show. You had a few of my friends on, so I was feeling a little left out. Well, I don't want you to feel left out. I love that introduction. Actor, singer, comedian, impressionist. I do it all. Because that's what you are. Well except a dancer. I don't oh. dance, which which yeah. slowed up my male stripper career. <laughs> I think you are absolutely amazing. Thank you. And I say this because my friends at home, you are going to be truly entertained. And I say this because we had a conversation on the phone. Yes, you did. And I must tell you, I could not stop laughing. I find it very amazing how you channel these characters. Um, being an impressionist, I mean, you have to somehow, you're an actor playing roles, right. but you not only play the role, you become that character. You know, many actors can play the character, but you become that character. And it's just fascinating to me. How do you prepare for that? Well, I watch a lot of video, you know, and then practice the voice. Um, like one of the first, uh, uh, actors I did was uh, Joey Bishop. 
um, because I was in a show that needed a Joey Bishop. And for those of you who don't know who Joey Bishop is, he was a comedian famous in the 50s and 60s, um, but he talked like this. And he had a very, he was from Philadelphia, he had an accent that he talked really funny, but he was a great comedian and he told a lot of great jokes. You want me to tell a joke? Sure. All right, this lady walks into a kitchen, sees her husband waving a fly swatter. She says, what are you doing? He says, what do you think I'm doing? I'm hunting flies. She goes, did you get any yet? He says, I got five, three males and a couple of females. The wife said, that's ridiculous. How in the world could you possibly tell their gender? The husband said, easy, because three were on a beer can, the other two were on the phone. <laughs> yes. That's Joey Bishop. And then, but I got to, I switched from Joey Bishop to Dean Martin, and oh, now, Martin. yeah, and I'm in a show called Sandy Hackett's Rat Pack Show. We travel all over the country, and I do, um, oh, yeah, um, for you millennials, Dean Martin was a singer and comedian. He was in the Rat Pack. <laughs> you gotta explain to the young people who these people are. Anyway, um, so let's do my signature song, okay? You and me, we're gonna do a duet, right? Ready? Mm. Everybody loves somebody sometimes. Everybody falls in love somehow. Wow. That's, that's the I don't know the words. And um, so anyway, I got to this. Uh, I got my start here in Las Vegas as a as an actor, comedian, impressionist. Uh, the first show I was in uh, was called. Um, uh, comedy Cabaret. It was at the Maxim, 1991. Nice. And then, see, I was the guy that uh, nobody knew, but everybody eventually found out about, and then I got a lot of other work after that. Nice. You're incredible. How did you get started in the beginning? Like, take in the us beginning. to the beginning. Oh, that happened in Las Vegas. I was um, trying to hone, uh, comedians, uh, kind of a tough, uh, you know, uh, thing to get into. And I uh, started at the showcases. Right. Uh, they had show back in those days. They had showcases on Sunday night. They'd have a showcase, and and it was hosted by a friend of mine named Sandy Hackett. Oh. And, uh, and I started out doing like five minutes of comedy, and every week I'd go back and do another extra minute, and until finally I had like ten minutes of comedy. Wow. Ten minutes. <laughs> that was great. Uh, yeah. So then you were able to like put the whole uh, like a show together and yeah I started yeah and then I started doing impressions because I'm going I'm so limited as me because right. I'm really boring <laughs> so I decided I would you know incorporate some other uh, comedians into uh, my act um, and but writing jokes for them you know I don't find that you're boring I think that you're amazing and um, it's very hard for you know there's many actors you know that do and play roles but it's actually hard to be a comedian and an actor and an impressionist that can actually channel other characters. You not only channel them, you bring them like, it's almost like you're actually yeah, talking the to inner them. Life. The, yeah, 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 the actual the, uh, person. Yeah, yeah embody is what we, I try to do, embody yes. the character. So you're not just doing an impression of the guy, you're actually become that, the essence of that person. Yes, we talked, like yeah, we talked on the phone and you did about 12 people characters of some of the Hollywood, Hollywood's greatest. And um, if you would like, do you want to go through some of those characters? Let me see. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Am I going to do six voices or only five? <laughs> well, in all this confusion, you have to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? <laughs> yeah, we had, a, we, had a good one. we had a good time with that one. Let's see. Um, who else did I do? Oh, I did, yeah. <laughs> I was going, she, she was going, you're so good. I go, thanks, I'm tired. I finally got some respect, you know? Yeah, yeah. Rodney, if Rodney, here we go. Here you go. <laughs> nice furniture. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Liberace have a garage sale? Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Thanks. Let's see, who are, Oh, I did. I, I was, we were doing, we were just all over Actually, the place. Actually, I wrote them down. Oh, you did? Yeah, I wrote them down because I said I'm going to call them out and I want to see if you do them. Joe Pesci. Joe, Joe Pesci. Yeah, Sorry. Joe Pesci. Okay. Well, he is a little pesky, but he's Joe Pesci. <laughs> okay, okay, get the name right for crying out loud. I come on the show, you don't even get my name right. What the hell is that all about? But Christopher Walken. I don't want them to get confused. They're out there going, <laughs> Christopher Walken. <laughs> right, okay. So, I'm downtown. I'm walking down the street. And this bum walks up to me. He says, excuse me, you have any spare time? I said, don't you mean spare change? 
He says, no, I have change. I just don't have any time to spend it. <laughs> buddy Hackett. Oh, oh, buddy, oh, buddy, oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Uh, uh, let's see, buddy. Uh, uh, okay, one of my favorite Wait, jokes oh, is oh my God. two guys <laughs> are sitting at the bus stop. And one says to the other, I hope the bus shows up pretty soon. I've been sitting here so long, my ass fell asleep. <laughs> the other one says, yeah, I know. I heard it snore a couple of times. And Buddy Hackett used to do Johnny Carson. You know, this is amazing. You're interviewing me, and which is kind of a turnaround, because it's usually I who am interviewing people. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? All right, here's a riddle. All right, see if anybody can get this. This is a Karnak thing. The Nile, the Amazon, Joan. Joan, the Nile, the Amazon. Anybody guess? I, I can't guess. Okay, <laughs> name three rivers with a big mouth. I got laughing out there. Thank you so much. <laughs> So, Molly, you are incredible. This is what I want to do. I want to take my audience to a quick break so we can watch this video of Tom Wallet live in action. We'll be right back. Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Go get some more. Go get some more juice. You're going to have a great time. Guy walks into the library. The library says, can I help you? He says, yes, I'm looking for some books on suicide. She's in a down the hall in the shelves marked desk. He walked off. He came back 10 minutes later. He said, lady, you don't have any books on suicide. She goes, oh, I guess nobody ever returns those. <laughs> All right, here's what happened. The guy went to the library. He said, you have any books on suicide? She said, in down the hall. He walked off. He found one. He came back, checked it out, took it home, read it. Then he killed himself. Then when the guy in my joke showed up, there were no more books for him. Am I going too fast for you? The other blonde over here is laughing. She's getting the jokes. A blonde walks into the library. But it could happen. Rolls up to the lady behind the counter. She says, yes, uh, let me have a, yeah, yeah, give me a Big Mac and a Coke. Then he goes, honey, you're at the library. She goes, oh, I'm terribly sorry. Let me have a Big Mac and a Coke. <laughs> so you have to be quiet at the library. You... <laughs> All right. Lounges were the mainstay of the entertainment, especially a late at night. And all my good friends got their start in the lounges like Don Rickles and Shecky Green and the great Louis Prima. Baby, down and down. Woo! I love it. I love it. I love it. You're back already? You're back already. Okay. You are a classic, classic <laughs> entertainer. Everything I know from Rich Little. Oh, my goodness. One of my, you know, he's an inspiration for me. Yes. I hear you do The Godfather pretty good, too. <laughs> And, uh, and why does that have to bring him up to me? You know what I'm saying? I, you come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding, and you ask me to do your TV show. <laughs> you don't call me friend. You don't even think to call me godfather. Huh. <laughs> how do you do it? Like, how do you practice? How do you do it? You're a, I mean, you're a singer, seriously. you're a dancer, you're an actor, you play, I you do, play I guitar. Do. How do you do it? Yeah. Well, well, I, like, yeah, I practice, I practice. practice. <laughs> Lots of practice. And I tell a lot of the young people today, they always want to be actors, they want to be talent, they want to be comedians, but they have to know that you have to put in hard work and dedication, and you must have a passion. And this one right here has a passion. Oh, you don't know the half. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it takes. Correct. It does, exactly. A little commitment and a, and, a, and a little bit of luck. You know, you have to run into the right people. That Everybody has to run into people that'll say yes. Tom, yeah. tell us about some of the shows that you've done in Vegas and then any shows that you have coming up soon. Uh, okay. Um, I have no shows coming up uh, here in Las Vegas, but I was, uh, up until January, I was in a, a wonderful show called Vegas 
uh, the story uh, with uh, my good friend Tony Santa, who unfortunately uh, passed away. And, Tony was yeah, so loved. Yeah, he, he was so loved. The beloved t Tony Saka. He is. He's just amazing. Uh, he was uh, terrific. Uh, and then previous to that, I was in uh, the Rat Pack here yes. in town. And then I was in a show called Viva Las Vegas. Oh. Uh, that was at the Stratosphere for 10 years. And then uh, I was in uh, a show called Forbidden Vegas, um, which was a parody of all the shows on the strip. It was a really terrific show. And um, we couldn't make it last. Otherwise, that would still be running. Wow. It was a great show. It was really funny. And then uh, my very first show in town was uh, called Comedy Cabaret. That was at the Maxim, and I did that yes. for a year and a half. And then I went to do this show called Tropical Heat at the Rio. And, wow. uh, and I worked with uh, a child actress named Dana Plato. She was yes. in that show with me. You remember her from Different yes, Strokes? Different yeah, Different Strokes. Yeah. yeah. Outstanding. But, you know, but you keep going, and you're amazing, and um, we are all looking forward to coming to see you live, and um, I want to thank you, thank you, thank you well, for being one here. One thing before I go, Zaya. Donald Trump. Donald Trump, yes, this is Donald Trump. Thank you all <laughs> for tuning in, watching uh, Zayn and Juliet, and... If your continued support will make this show great again. <laughs> I want to thank my guests, Sharon S. and Tom Wilde, for joining us. I really, really enjoyed them so very much. And we'll see you again next week with more Zayna Juliet and Friends. Bye bye. I've walked a million miles. In broken pieces, picking up what I could. Stuck in a universe full of strangers, I feel like I know you. I know you. Everybody. Sweetest voice is killing me.